Hi, I'm Isaac, and here's some things I've made. In elementary school, I created countless projects in Scratch, including a shooter game with three different enemies and a basic operating system with several applications. When my dad bought a 3D printer for our home, I started bringing my ideas to the real world. My first major project was a modern version of the telegraph. Inspired by the 19th century design, I wanted this device to transmit messages in English with only one input source. I also wanted it to be user-friendly so that it could be feasibly used as a method of nonverbal communication, potentially for those who are unable to speak. This device uses two micro bits. The first records the inputs through this button and displays whether the user is typing a dot or a dash depending on how long they press it. After a second with no inputs, a small dot flashes, indicating that the user can start typing the next letter. When you've typed your message, you can hold this button for two seconds and it will send the message to a second micro bit, displaying it in English. While my group mate focused on the code, I designed and 3D printed a base to hold the electronics. This space allows the user to use a lever, similar to an older telegraph, while still being able to see what they're typing and display the message to another person. Currently, I'm creating a workout machine that allows users to safely squat and bench press without the need for a spotter, specifically for those who exercise at home. While my three group mates have been focusing on research, I created this design. The barbell will have buttons for the user to rest their thumbs on while they exercise. If they begin to struggle, they can release their thumbs from the buttons, which will send a message to this Arduino and activate a motor. This motor will control a rack and pinion system that will open a trap door, causing counterweights to fall. The cables on the barbell are attached to the bottom counterweight, so when the trap door is opened, the barbell will rise. The user can adjust the counterweight using this pin. Everything under the pin will fall when the user releases the buttons, giving users the option to have the barbell completely lift or just reduce the force it puts down. Our power rack recently came in and we plan to start constructing the machine in January. I love using my passions to help people and I hope I can continue doing so at MIT.